Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with X'd Out by MicroStudy. So uh, we have normal 6x6 six six Sudoku rules, which means in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have these X sum clues outside the grid. That's these numbers outside the grid. Um, so what we do with X sum clues is we take the first digit that's next to the um, next to that clue. So let's say we've got a 4 here. That would mean what that is telling you is that the first four digits in that direction for that column or for that row, right, in the direction of the clue. So if this was a four, it would be these four, right? So if this is a four, it would be the first four in that direction. And then those four, you add them up, including the four, you add them up, and that adds to 10. So if this were a three instead of a four, then we would add these three, including the three, and those would add to 10. And that's true of all of these. So these would add to 11, 12, 13, 16. So uh, that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, I definitely want to start with the 16 clue. So one way to think about big X sum clues is to think about what we call the outies, the cells that aren't involved in the sum. Because what we can do is we can add up the whole row. The entire row adds to 21, because 1 through 6, if you add them up, it's 21. It's a triangle number. So... What we do is we think about the Audis. The Audis are going to be on this side. It's going to be maybe one cell, two cells, three cells. We don't know how many. But what we do know is they add to 21 minus 6, which is 5. Um, sorry, 21 minus 16 is 5. I, I said 6, but I was think thinking about it um, as I was talking. So 5, we could do 5 and 1, or we could do 5 and 2, but we're never doing 5 and 3. But I notice a problem with 5 and 1, because if we do 5 and 1, that means these are part of the 16 sum, because the 5 is the only Audi. But that means that's length 5, and we'd have to put a 5 here. So actually that breaks, which means that these two add to 5, and it means these four are in our sum. I'll highlight that temporarily. So if 4 is in our sum, that's a 4. But we wanted to use a 4 as one of our options for 5, so it can't actually be 1, 4, so this is only 2, 3. And then we might as well fill what these three are, 1, 5, 6. All right, that's a good start. Got a digit, got a 2-3 pair. Um, does it make sense to go backwards through the X sums? Honestly, I think the 11 is, is going to be the next thing to think about. Um, 11 is interesting, because for 10, you can actually use 4. With 10, you can use 4 because you can do 1, 2, 3, 4. But with 11, you can't, because if you want to sum to 11 and 4, the only way to do it is 1, 2, 3, 5, which omits the 4. That's a really cool property of 11. Um, that works in, in 9 by 9 as well, by the way. Um, and so we can't actually put a 4 here, because if we put a 4 here, then these 4 needs to add to 11, and they cannot. There's no way to do it without repeating the 4, because these 3 would add to 7. 7 needs 1, 2, 4. All right. So this is not a 4. It's also not a 2, because we're not doing 2, 9. This isn't a 9 by 9. So it has to be a 3. That gives us the 2 and the 3. So these 3 are going to add to 11, which means these 2 add to 8. And they're not 3, 5, so they have to be 2, 6. Very nice. Um, so now this 10 clue, it's not a 3. It's definitely not a 2, because we're not doing 2, 8. So it is a 4. That puts the 2 and the 1 in place. That puts the 6 and the 5 in place. These aren't 5. All right, this is going well. This is a 5-6 pair. Putting a 5-6 pair here does make me want to think about the 12, but I also want to think about Sudoku a little bit. This is a 4-6 pair, so that's 4 and 6. This is a 1-5 pair, so that's 1 and 5. One and five. Uh, so that makes this a pair. Um, it, certainly we're not using a 1 on an XM clue for 12, so the 1 goes there. That leaves us with a 4, so the 12 clue is a 4 clue. So let's think about this. These three need to add to 8, because we already have 4. So if these three add to 8, um, we cannot use the 6, because 6 is too big. We need 6, 1, 1. So we're actually 5 and then a 1, 2, which we know the order of. That's a 6. We get the 6 and the 1 here. This is a 3. Um, this is a 3, 6 pair. This is from 2, 4, 5. Okay, so we're certainly not using 2 for a 13 clue. Um, are we using 5 for a 13 clue? No, because I know that 1 through 5 adds to 15. That's too big. So we're using the 4 there. Um, can we use the 6? Actually, we could. We could go 4, 6, 2, 1. So that might be what happens. Um, so let's just fill these out. This is 2, 3, 6. This is 1, 4, 5. Nice. We get a naked 5 there. That should help. Um, in fact, 
I want to think about the Audis here. So if these add to 13, then what do these two add to? Well, it's 8, so this has to be 5 and 3. That's 2 and 6. That's a 6 and a 3 and a 5 and a 2. And then down here we have 2, 3, 5. That's the 5. That's the uh, 3. That's the 2. Nice. Very cool puzzle micro study. I liked the, the use of the XMs. It makes you, initially you think, oh, I should just work backwards. But actually, after the 16, the 11 was the most important one. In fact, the 11 was 3 right from the start. This was just a 3 right from the start, um, which was neat. And then you're definitely not putting a 6 next in this 10 clue. So, and the 10 is not a 3. So actually, from, right from the start, you get this 3 and this 4. Um, but I wanted to think about the 16 first, so I did get there eventually. Very neat. Hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.